All right, here we have a 2017 Ram one ton crew cab dually. This is a Laramie Longhorn with the Cummins, um, and it is a gorgeous truck. Um, I love black trucks, they always, you know, look good. So, this one's no exception. Um, again, 2017. So one owner has 94,000 miles on it. So, um, still, you know, not quite broken in. I mean, almost 100,000 miles, but it's on a diesel. So, do with that information what you will. Um, you know, these Cummins trucks, they run for a long time as long as you're taking care of them. So, got nice uh, projector headlights there. Nice fog lights uh, we'll go inside we'll go over some things here so pretty well loaded out I mean it's got most options um, power locks power windows power mirrors power fold mirrors here's your headlight control auto on off your rear cargo light as well as your dimmer switch for your gauges it does have adjustable pedals forward and back hard to see them moving there they're kind of slow but you can see them so they're going back and then tilt steering power front seats you get uh, two different memory options so you can set it and forget it basically I'm coming here it's dinging at me because I got the fob in my pocket so 94,000 miles so with the Longhorn, the Laramie Longhorn, you get nice embroidery and heavy leather, and um, it's Dodge's equivalent of a King Ranch. So you get, you know, pretty much close to the same uh, same things. This is your uh, display control here on the left. So you can change things like, you know, miles per hour. You can go to vehicle info for trans temps, fuel economy. Um couple of tripometers, trailer info, <coughs> audio info, excuse me, and uh, yeah, so a few things there, obviously your shifter, you can change uh, what gear you want the truck to limit to, so say you're going downhill, and uh, say you're going downhill and you want to slow down using the truck and not the brakes, you can see there's a little one there by the D. And I can change that by pressing up or down on this little pad. So it'll limit what gear you can go into. So that's kind of handy. Cruise controls are right here. On, off, set, resume. Full touch screen display. Heated and cooled front seats as well as a heated steering wheel. Full screen backup camera as well as a rear cab camera so you can line up your gooseneck. You can see there's a ball there in the bed. Um, so really helpful for lining things up, uh, especially if you're doing it by yourself and you don't have somebody helping you. So here's your four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, four lock, four low. Pretty straightforward. Dual climate control. You get your trailer brake controller there. You got five auxiliary switches as well as traction control, toll haul mode, there's your engine brake, and then there's your front and rear park sensor settings. Over here we got a nice little cubby. These phone holders, I absolutely love them. Um, they hold your phone phenomenally, a great angle. Uh, you know, if you're running GPS off of it or what have you, it's right there. There's a little slot for your cord, pretty handy. This does close and get a nice wood grain there. We got two cup holders. You do have a two-section center console, so the top is shallow. You've got a coin holder there, as well as a USB, an auxiliary, and an outlet. And then if you open the bigger one, you get a nice deep center console. So, that's kind of nice. Power sunroof, um, as well as power rear window. that opens and closes very nicely as well as this 
so it's just a tap and back it goes All right, pretty straightforward. <clears throat> we'll go to the back here. Really overall, just a gorgeous truck. Obviously well kept. It's not hammered out. The leather's not torn. There's no scratches, you know, things like that. The door panels. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Longhorn Edition. You get the nice seat embroidery there. And, uh, yeah, so the bottom of this seat folds up, and you get a little shelf here. You open those up, and bam. Now you have a little shelf for putting stuff on if you need to. You could also fold this back up. You can pull the little pop pin there, and you get storage under this seat. This does have the trash cans in the floor. And then the rear seats are heated. So you get two stages, high, low, off. Um, you also get a 12 volt outlet right there. So that's kind of handy. And then you do get a rear light under the seat if you're doing stuff at night, you know, and you need to see, you'll have that there. Nice pouches, these are just magnets. So it just clips down there. So nice little pouches for the backs of the rear seats or the backs of the front seats sorry bed does have a pretty nice liner in it you can see it's got a fifth wheel ball in there and uh or sorry gooseneck ball in there and the fifth wheel prep package so that's super nice come over here passenger side Again, nice clean door panels, you know, just a well kept up truck. So these two seats, the passenger in the middle, fold up from the bottom together. You do get a cup holder there in the middle. And if you fold this up, you do get the option for another shelf there. And under this seat is the factory subwoofer. So that's there. You also get a trash can on this side down in there and you have the little mount pouch on the back of that seat as well as the light under the bottom of that one go to the passenger side here pretty straightforward this just unclips and your jack and everything's under there power seats up front again nice embroidery overall a really nice looking truck Excuse me. You get storage in there, as well as your regular glove box there. You get a nice little side slot there. I call it a uh, snack cubby, because for road trips, it's a good spot to put snacks. Go to the front here. <laughs> Heavy hook. And there it is, 6.7 turbo diesel by Cummins. Good running truck, healthy motor. Um, I mean, it's a Cummins, so it's, you know, a little on the loud side as far as diesels go. Cummins always have been. Um, that's nothing new. So, but. Good running truck. Healthy motor. As you can see, nothing really of interest down here. It's all pretty dry. There's no rust. Overall, just a really nice truck. So, again, 2017 Laramie Longhorn One Ton Crew Cab Dually with 94,000 miles on it. Good maintenance history, um, and obviously, it was very well taken care of. The truck just shows that. So, that's all I have for you on this one. Come see us here in Athol, Idaho. Give our website a visit at www.familymotorcoidaho.com.